Hey guys, today I want to show you how to build the most compact, simplest, and resource friendly basalt building flying machine I've seen on YouTube. So this is actually the second of three videos that I'm making on these basalt building flying machines. The one I'm showing in this video is the simplest of all of them, and it builds the simplest bridge. And then the first video is on this one, which is slightly bigger, but it builds a lot more usable of a bridge. And I'm also going to be making one in the future that actually builds an under lava tunnel system. But now we can get back to this flying machine. So this entire flying machine is only 9 blocks in total, and the bridge that I'll actually build for you is this one right here. So it builds a one wide basalt bridge, and one thing that I will point out that makes this thing not perfect, is that it actually destroys the lava sources next to it, which causes you to get this weird flowing lava. It's nothing that really affects the bridge, but it is something just to point out. So pretty much just how this flying machine works is once you update this observer, it launches it and it starts moving one block at a time through the world, and when it does that it drags these two materials which is soul soil and blue ice, and when you have lava on top of soul soil and next to blue ice, it will create this stuff which is known as basalt. And so this stuff is really nice for making bridges in the nether since we pretty much have an unlimited supply of lava. It's also gas proof, so if a gas shoots a fireball at this it actually won't destroy it which is really nice, and it also matches the theme in the nether quite well and it kind of blends in and looks okay. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this flying machine before we get into building it. It's just the simplest and most compact you can make for dragging those two materials to create just a single wide basalt bridge. And now for the materials you need to build a flying machine, everything you see in this top row is exactly the materials you need to build the flying machine itself. And then I also have this stuff down here, some other optional stuff. I like to use the buttons to launch the flying machine, it's a good thing to place on the observers, because once the flying machine starts to move, they just get broken and you don't have to worry about it. I also have some cobblestone so we could clear away some lava if we need to, and so this could just be any block you have a good supply of that you don't have to worry about getting destroyed in the lava. And since we'll be working next to a lot of lava, it would be nice to have a fire resistance potion, but that's not actually going to be necessary for this build. So now that you have all of your materials collected, you could look for places to build this bridge. And one biome that I want to point out that's really dangerous to build these things in are these basalt deltas, since in the lava lakes down at the bottom, they actually have these basalt pillars which the flying machines will just run into and get stuck on. So that's going to be one of the biomes that you have to watch out building this thing in. But now let's go find an optimal space to build it, and then we can get to work on it. So I found a pretty good place to launch this thing, I'm going to be launching it off of this island right here, where you can see that we have a big open space with just lava and it won't crash into anything right away. And so another thing to think about is if you want to build a bridge from one location to another, it's going to have to be in a straight line, unless you want to actually launch a second flying machine 90 degrees from the first one. To create a turn in the system you could also do that, but this flying machine will only create one single straight line of basalt, and so you just want to connect up those two points like that. So now what I'm going to do is get to work on this location as our build site, and I'll show you how to do that. So my goal for this build site is to build a space that we could house the flying machine in to keep it out of the lava, because you can build this thing up in the lava, but it's really hard to see what you're doing. It's easy to lose materials, and it's just not really worth the time. So what I'm going to do is clear out the space that's big enough for this flying machine to go in, and I'm going to do that all on land away from the lava. So I have this flat ground that's going to be nice and open to dig down and build a flying machine in. So the flying machine at the end will be 2 by 3 blocks, which means to house it without it hitting any of the walls, we need a 5 by 4 spot. So again I'm going to be launching it in this direction, which means that we want the long side of the 4 by 5 rectangle to be going this way. So I'm going to start digging out the area, and I'm going to start digging here since none of the lava will actually be able to flow in yet. So that's 4 blocks wide now, and now I'm going to dig it 5 back. So we already have 1, then that's 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I'm going to clear out the rest of the space. So this is what your 4x5 area should look like. Now what I'm going to do is dig this 3 blocks down since the total height of the flying machine is 2 blocks tall. And so that will leave one air gap at the bottom. So we got lucky on this one and we didn't have any lava flow in from the sides or anything like that. Which we actually had a problem with our last flying machine. This is the one that we did the video on before. So we dug out this space and it was a little bit more work last time. But now that we have our 4x5x3 by by tall area, we could get to work on the flying machine inside of here. So I just placed down this arrow to show that the flying machine will go in this direction once it's launched. And so now we get to work on the flying machine inside of here. What I'm going to start up with is the back of the flying machine. And to do that, I'm going to place down a filler block, which could be a cobblestone or it could be slime blocks or anything, as we'll remove it in just a second. I'm placing the first one one block away from the back wall and one block away from the side wall. And you can place this block on either side, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to build it the same as me, just place it on the right hand side. So on top of this filler block, we're going to place a slime block. And then we could get rid of this now, we only needed it to place that slime block. And so the slime block should be one block away from the floor, the back wall, and the side wall. 
And now what I'm going to do is take our soul soil and place it to the side of this slime block. So we create these two blocks centered on the two block center. And now on top of this slime block, I'm going to place in the blue ice. And this creates the basalt former with the soul soil on the bottom and the blue ice next to it. And now we could get to work on the flying machine. And to do that, I'm going to place in a slime block off of the slime block we already have. And then a sticky piston in front of the soul soil next to the slime block. So the front of the sticky piston is pointing out towards where the flying machine will be launched to. And another thing to point out is that you could actually use a normal piston for this to save out on a little bit of slime. But now what I'm going to do is place a slime block in front of the face of that piston. And now we're going to place in our second piston and do that it looks like we need to have a little bit of height and we're going to place it so it points in the opposite direction as the first one so that this one is pointing backwards and this one needs to be a sticky piston and this one is pointing frontwards and the two final blocks you should have should be both your observers so i'm going to place the first one next to the blue ice so the redstone dot points down and i'm going to do that by looking from the bottom down here and we also want the face of the observer to be pointing upwards and now what we need to do is place in another filler block Next to this observer, it could be in either of these two locations, but I'll just do it here. And so that way we could place in our second observer, which again points straight down with its face facing upwards. So this one powers this piston, and this one back here powers this piston, and that finishes up our entire flying machine. So this flying machine is ready to launch. If we wanted to launch it, all we'd have to do is place a button right here, or even any other block. But before we do that, we need to remove this wall so it doesn't just immediately crash. So what I found is the easiest way to do this is to break down one block like this, so that way the lava has some place to flow instead of just flowing in here and surrounding your space. And now what I'm going to dig is from the bottom upwards, so I'm going to start off by mining out all these blocks. And you can see how tricky this part is, this is probably one of the hardest parts of this flying machine, is making sure to remove all the blocks that will be in your way. So you can see how all the lava is flowing into there as our safety space. But I'm just going to make sure to destroy every one of these blocks. Because if you don't destroy every one, the flying machine will actually get stuck to the floor and be unable to move. So just by using spectator mode, I can see that the flying machine has a one block clearance all the way out to the lava ocean. So this is going to be a little bit trickier on survival, but you just need to make sure to clear out that space. It's not too big of a deal. If you don't, the flying machine will get stuck, but you could easily relaunch it and I'll actually show you how that happens. So for that, I'm going to place a block right in front of the flying machine that will actually get stuck on, and then we're going to launch it. So obviously you don't want to have that block there, but I'm just going to launch it to show you what would happen. And to launch it forward, since this thing could actually fly in both directions if you use both sticky pistons, but to launch it in the direction we want, we're going to place it in the back observer, the one next to the blue ice. And you can see the flying machine start to move, and it actually looks like I placed that block in the wrong spot. What I thought it was it would get stuck to and it'd be unable to move, but it's actually probably just dragging it along with it. Since it's actually a pretty strong flying machine, it doesn't have to move too many blocks. So even if a few get stuck to it, it's not too big of a deal. So that's actually pretty good news for us. We could see it getting to work on building our bridge. And now what you'd want to do is fix up this area if you wanted to have this be a nice starting location to the bridge. Since it kind of gets a bit wonky here. But here's the bridge getting automatically formed for us all the way as far as it could go. So that's it, it's pretty much just a really simple flying machine, it's only 9 blocks total, that's able to build a simple 1 block wide bridge. So I really wanted to share this video with you guys since I was watching the other YouTube videos, and I was surprised at how big the flying machines were, so I wanted to share this design. So I hope that it helped you guys out and it was a useful design, but thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of the other Basalt Building Bridge videos, I'll link them at the end of this video, and maybe put them in a card up in the top corner. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. So that's it, see you later guys.